Hey everybody, I apologize if I'm sort of speeding through this video. I was almost actually done with my video, talking jets, which is what we're going to be talking about in this video, when suddenly it just cut out and nothing recorded. So that was weird. I don't know why that happened. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, kind of disappointing. There was some really good moments in that video, uh, as entertaining as this is, but anyways, I'll try and, sorry if I whip through this, but I'm gonna try this here, okay, so basically what I was talking about was, you know, um, the jet season sort of went how I thought it would, but at the same time, it, it didn't go how I thought it would, um, I feel like they had so many seasons in their one season, if that makes sense. Oh, I'm going to get into that. So, I thought coming into the year, I said, the Jets are going to be competitive. And they're going to score a lot of points. And they will be in the playoff mix in the final few weeks. Um, I didn't think they would get in. But I thought they would, you know, be competitive. And, and at least be in the conversation um, towards the end of the season. And... You know, they, they were. They basically were. Now they weren't the way... They weren't doing that the way I thought they would, though. You know, I mean, I looked at their pieces, and I was like, well, Zach Wilson, he's the Mormon Mahomes. You know, they're the same size. Great arm, great athlete. Um, completely different personalities, which is why, you know, Wilson didn't work out. You know, moody, unlikable, sitting on the bench with his hood up, not talking to teammates, he can't do that, bad at the podium, not taking accountability. That's, I think, why Salah benched him when he did lost the locker room um but you know i thought wilson you know he's gonna improve he, he'd be fine uh look around he's got brace hall he's got michael carter cj uzama from cincinnati garrett wilson denzel mims elijah moore elijah vera tucker and makai becton on the offensive line um defensively they still have guys that i like and then they added sauce garner they got quinn and williams they got leonard not leonard williams they have quinn and williams they have quan alexander and they have cj mosley and they're always good on special teams and you know, I always liked Robert Sala more than other people did going into the year. And I loved their offensive coordinator. I don't think he should have been fired, especially since he was replaced by Nathaniel Hackett. I actually think Michael Fleur is kind of better than Matt LaFleur, which is weird because Matt's the head coach. But I digress. Anyways, whole other topic. Um, but I go, this team will be competitive. And they were. But not in the way that people thought. You know? Wilson gets benched. There's the Mike White. Mike White part two, because everyone was chanting his name last year when he came in. So Mike White, everyone's loving him. And we had some Joe Flacco. We even had some Chris Streveler on Thursday Night Football in a rainstorm, or rain and storm X, whatever the hell that storm was. Um, so we yeah. had the Jets season, I felt like, was a roller coaster. At one point, they're not doing well, and then they're doing well, and then not well. Oh, and then maybe a little bit well, and then ooh, doo. It was weird, wacky. I know Chet's fans weren't happy. Um, but yeah. And then you gotta ask, where do they go from here? Because you're not gonna bring back Zach Wilson. You're not, he's gone. I, don't know, I, wouldn't, I think they're gonna trade him, kind of if they have to. Mike White ain't it. I don't think he ever was. I hope the Jets never thought that. Joe Douglas, he seems like a smart GM. I don't think that. Robert Sala, I love him. Don't think he'd do that. Flacco's obviously past his prime, about to retire. Chris Trebler, he's like an XFL guy. The quarterback's not on the roster. The thing is, this team, it's ready to win now. You can't draft another quarterback. Time he's developed, all these guys are going to be ready to go somewhere else. you got to bring in a veteran. You know, there's a lot of talk about Aaron Rodgers. You know, he's falling in far footsteps in Green Bay, far ended with the Jets. Why not Rodgers end with the Jets? I don't like that, though. I would rather go after like a Jimmy Garoppolo you know I think Jimmy Garoppolo I keep saying he's good enough to win a Super Bowl um you can also get him for a cheap deal you know I know the Rodgers contract may work out if you get him because you're not paying anyone on the Jets anything so you could probably afford Rodgers and keeping most of these guys but then you have to trade for him so you'd have to give up some people Garoppolo he's a free agent you can just sign him um again sorry for rushing through this video I don't know why I cut off my first video. Um, 
But anyways, that that's what I think they should do. I think you should sign a Jimmy Garoppolo. Um, don't go after Aaron Rodgers. Now they got Nathaniel Hackett. I'm worried that's what they're going to do because they're a desperate team, which despite the fact they have a good GM and a good coach and potentially in the future a good quarterback, they got a bad owner. Hard to overcome bad ownership in the league, but yeah, I think that's what happens. I think they get Aaron Rodgers or Jimmy Garoppolo or even Derek Carr, although I wouldn't do Rodgers or Carr, I'd do Garoppolo. And yeah, I think that's the direction they, this team ends up heading. Jets could do a lot in 2023. I can see them winning their division. I can also see them um, being in last place. So we'll see. They're the Jets. Feel like they haven't won a playoff game in forever. Don't think they have. I think they got like the longest playoff win drought or the longest time, longest like playoff appearance drought, something like that. But anyways, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I'm going to have more content throughout the week. Appreciate you guys watching these videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you later.